Good afternoon and welcome to this Thursday afternoon reflection here in the chancel of St Mary's Church in Cowles. Let us begin with a short prayer. O eternal God, who has taught us by thy holy word that our bodies are temples of thy spirit, keep us, we most humbly beseech thee, temperate and holy in thought, word and deed, that at the last we, with all the pure in heart, may see thee and be made like unto thee in thy heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It's nice. Keep us temperate in heart, mind and body. I was here a little earlier today and with the knowledge, as I mentioned yesterday and have been saying to our certain local congregation that we're planning to be together again in this church for the first time for a long time on Sunday and enjoy a gathered service in, uh, Holy, in St. Mary's Church here and in our sister church, Holy Trinity, down the road next weekend uh, for Mothering Sunday uh, and onwards towards Easter. And it's been quite exciting. And I was deeply heartened to uh, find, as I came over, to see the few that had turned up to clean the church this afternoon, with an eye to it being opened on Sunday, that there were not a few at all. In fact, they were almost fighting over bits of church to clean. There were so many lovely people here rushing around with mops and polish and, and oh, just all sorts and brooms and, and dusting cloths and so on all around the church. It was absolutely a joy. And it smells lovely, fresh polish. And, uh, and clean and fresh and waiting for Sunday. And uh, it really has been a, it was a heart-lifting moment to discover so many uh, in church uh, preparing for our reopening on Sunday. And we look forward to it very much indeed. And it just gladdens your heart in the knowledge of the care that we hold this building in and all that it means to so many people here in Cowles and in their faith. And I was with one person, uh, our administrator, and we were up here looking at the designs up and down the, uh, the chancel here and behind me and the apostles and all the shields and designs. And we were talking our way through them. And uh, just one of them, both of us were finding a bit of a uh, confusion, but uh, we'll look into it and work out just what it meant. But it's fascinating looking at those sorts of things and the history of the church and so on. And these things come to light when you come in with a dusting cloth and some polish and you make your way around, looking at things that perhaps you simply haven't noticed before. And there is a piece in our faith to look at things we haven't noticed before as the weather turns a little better and the things begin to look up. But here, certainly in church, there is a lot to look at that we haven't noticed before in our faith. Amen. And as we make our way towards next weekend and gathering together in this church in joy and worship, let us pray for those who sadly may or may not be with us on that day. Grant, O Lord, to all those who are bearing pain, thy healing grace and power, thy spirit of peace and hope, of courage and endurance. Cast out from them the spirit of anxiety and fear, and grant them perfect confidence and trust in thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we look forward very much to gathering together and being a part of that uplifting of our nation as we grow our way past this pandemic, we ask for God's grace and blessing upon us in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.